I'm Captain Troop with Boat Test, and today I'm with Captain Eric aboard Formula's 457 CCF. And this is the ultimate in luxury fishing on a center console. I have been fishing on center consoles my entire life, but nothing quite like this. First of all, with this large helm station, amazing seating, 18,000 BTUs of AC off the back, cooling us off while we're fishing. Second station, lots of power and more. There's lots to see. Check this out. Let's kick off our features presentation off the big platform. Under my feet, 78 by 32 inches, mighty long, mighty wide. Behind me is a dive ladder. You have your shore power plug-in. Nice feel on my feet here. What's on your side, Trip? Well, I, of course, I have that large platform as well here, and I think a lot of that is owed to these Mercury 600s, you know, because the engines, they don't actually turn. They put these a little closer together, so that just gives more room for larger swim platforms. With a simple push of a button, there's an electric step that comes out and I can step down onto it. It's about a foot underwater right now. And so this is a fantastic seat, maybe for the ladies or a primary boarding platform. And I have one single step that'll come out from under it as well. So I really like that. And coming forward a little bit, I have a hot and cold fresh water shower. So maybe I just took a dip. I can get it cleaned off before I make my way into the cockpit. Going through the entry door, which is 18 inches wide, plenty wide enough. Speaking of inches from the floor to the top cap, 32 inches, some really nice gunnel height. Now behind me, we're back to inches again, 12 inch subwoofers, you've got three on this boat, a lot of boom, boom, bang, bang, okay? Electric plug-in ports on this boat, you have four of them, look at your kite reels, electric reels, whatever else, plug them in, you're a happy fishing guy. Got that big fish, get them inside the boat, it's so simple with two side doors. Open this thing up like this, drink holders galore, which is kind of nice by the way open the hatch door, that big mahi, that big wahoo comes right here on the deck. Now back to the door, it's really special. You've got a pull down step here to get in and off the boat. You've got a ladder that plugs into the insert right here to get in and out of the boat. Super simple to use. Now back to those fish on the deck. Put them in the fish boxes. They're long, they're large. Index storage. Now, Trip has got more, tell us about it. So there is something special about the fish box on my side. Granted, it is 76 inches long, which will hold some large fish. And this thing makes 22 pounds of ice an hour. Now it also has chiller plates in it and a macerator. Maybe you want to make this in one big slurry, you can do so. Now, it is chilled, it does have ice in it. And one thing I really have learned about Formula is how they insulate all of their fish boxes. Now this boat is constructed with a grid construction, which basically means it's like one big torsion box in a way, and everything is just insulated fantastically. We have like a four inch insulated wall here, insulation in the bottom, two inch insulation on the top of these lids. I mean, this is really some fantastic stuff for fishing. There's access to that ice maker. Just in case you get in here and doing any maintenance to it, it's readily accessible. Just under the gunnel are two rinse hoses, raw and fresh water, and both of these are on automatic retractable reels. So that hose is gonna stay nice and tidy, concealed within the gunnel. Maybe you're not quite ready to throw the fish in the fish box. Maybe you just wanna go ahead and cook it up right on the boat. You can talk about the best fish you've ever had. You can do that right here on this electric Kenyan grill. Now underneath, we have some storage for all of the cutlery and utensils for that grill. Really handy and close by. Along the back side of the transom, you can see two large bait wells. These are 58 gallons a piece. This one on the port side is fitted with scuba tanks with an insert in here. Man, I really like that. And this would be a great diving platform, right? And then on the starboard side, this one has some live bait in there right now. They have redundant bilge pumps. So essentially, if you have your live bait in there and you're fishing all day, if one of your pumps goes out, you're gonna get an alert on your Garmin screens up there and say, hey, one of your pumps is out and it's gonna let you know that you need to swap it over to the other pump to keep those fish alive. So no more running out 20 miles, whatever, and finding out that your bait is dead. Because that is not a good day of fishing. And there's rod holders on the back, obviously, to hold those big rods. Just in front of the bait wells, there's a flip down bench seat. 58 inches wide, you can probably see three grown adults here, and maybe the water's really rough out there like it kind of was today. This is gonna be a very comfortable place to sit. 
this boat isn't intended just for fishing, but it's also a fantastic family entertaining boat. And you know, we have cup holders, what, one of the, what, 56 or something on this boat, and USBs. And down below, this is one of my favorite things about the boat, automatic coolers come out. Come on, I don't know how many gallons these things are, but there is a lot in here. You know, Triple might call this more than a summer kitchen. It's so multi-purpose, maybe a bait station, also a comfort station. Pull this out, you got 18,000 BTUs of AC blown on this seat. So this kitchen has become a bait station and a comfort zone all in one. I do have a sink here, but it's bait station because this cover actually flipped upside down on this padding, which also doubles the step as we're coming to our upper station. And so good place to cut up bait. And then below, of course, they're gonna throw in a lot of storage for us. You know, fantastic places for everything. Tackle storage, what do you got over there? Again, more places for your utensils for the summer kitchen, I might add, okay? <laughs> Going down this way again, all your utensils just keep on adding more. Plates, whatever, we got it really great. Flatware, etc. There's a storage cabinet here, which has controls for our chiller plates and the ice maker below, as well as liter storage. And there's also a Dometic fridge here for keeping all those drinks cold. Now overhead are some niceties for you, by the way. This is the retractable shore shade, which comes way out. It gives you that great sun protection, or as today, rain protection. <laughs> You've got a camera, which is great to have on the boat. Above that is more rod holders galore, which I like a whole lot. You like lighting, you've got spreader lights all around. And again, for the boom boom guy in the world, you got the two speakers right here. So really totally inclusive. Everything has a purpose and a reason to be there. Above my head, this really large hard top. Think about it, 10 and a half feet by 18. Is a lot of coverage from the sun and the wind, and especially like the rain today, I'm staying perfectly dry. So a really nice, large area. There's so much more to see now. Right behind me is the access letter. We're going upstairs to the second station. Take a look. Well, I love rod holders. There's plenty galore across the back over here. Looking ahead, we've got CD by Formula. Over my head, you've got speakers, jail audio, this nice large hard top overhang, big piping by the way, things are made really tough and beefy up here. Now to me, storage, even on a second station is important, you'll seat covered and pull it up right there, and you got storage galore, stick down your covers, keep stuff in there out of the way. You know, maybe you're not in hardcore fishing mode, the ladies can get up here and really relax and sun and they can have a fantastic view too. The seating engineer, they've really thought a lot about this stuff over here, just made it really comfortable. Have a rail all the way around to keep us aboard. And then if we spin around a little bit, now one thing I noticed, it has little cubbies here. And these are interesting because even in these two individual cubbies, they're different depths and they have individual drains for each one. Now that's a pretty good touch as well as a USB charger. And there's another stereo head unit up here to make this its own audio zone. Everything you need to fish or entertain. A luxury center console. How about starting with some seating? Popping that seating with formula styling, which looks mighty darn good. So I walk inside, Trip, and you'll join me in a minute here. I've got AC ports blowing 18,000 BTUs of cold, ice cold AC. Is there's six different foam densities in each of these seats. Now that means there's a lot of thought that went into these seats to make them comfortable. And another thing to make them comfortable, like we said earlier, the AC right at your lower back and you have flip up bolsters, maybe you're running harder by standing up, you know, feeling cool. That's how you want to ride. But if you want to be comfortable, flip them down. You have these elevated, you know, foot rest right there as you're underway. And then tell them about this teak. We got teak accents on the seats. These are real teak, I might add, by the way, around the corners on the back of these seats, around the drink cup holders as well. Also some very nice touches. I like the lighting around the T-top interior as well. You got courtesy lights here and grab rails. Overhead, you know, along the sides of the hardtop, we have these tracks where we can actually put in some icing glass and close this place up. Because not only we, of course, talk about the air conditioning, but let's say it's cold out, all this stuff could heat as well, so you can be comfortable in any weather. I'm gonna hit you guys with a few numbers. First, height off the water line. About 42 inches in the back, coming up to about 55 inches up near the bow. Now our gunnel width, 13 inches. Our pass through here between the console and the bolsters, 24 inches and our height from our deck up to the top of the gunnels is 35 inches. We do have a few other storage lockers right here. We have a dedicated spot for the 32 inch TV, which can be installed just above the base station. And then coming forward, another storage locker 
perfect spot for fenders. I like seeing a dedicated space for fenders on a boat. And then we come to all the luxury and comfort up here at the bow. Jump on a walk inside the Bowery and join you to talk about some of the other features on this boat. First of all, this very large chaise lounge. How big would this cushion be? The chaise lounge, it's about 53 inches wide. Down here, you've got snack tray, you've got drink holders, and gosh, you've got more USB plug-in ports, okay? And also window to the cabin. Window to the cabin, natural light. This is really neat. When this dining table goes up, you simply pull this out like this, and you sit on down, and your guests will enjoy a nice meal. And we have a dedicated space for a filler cushion that can be installed here. And maybe you're in hardcore fishing mode, you can remove all these cushions and you have kind of a walk around casting platform. If I lay back, this is four foot long, so it's plenty of length here for me to stretch out. I have a handrail here to keep me aboard. This backrest is kind of contoured down, just a perfect little position for my arm. And of course, I have more cup holders. I have my own USB to go along with the multitude of others on this boat. And then, hey, if I'm up here and I'm done fishing, I'm ready to jam, we got another one of those 12 inch subwoofers and two of the other speakers. I mean, it's gonna be rocking up here. And if it gets dark, man, I got puck lights right here. You look over here, this is built into the fiberglass mold. There's no friction hinges, you simply pull them up, it's built in and it's a magnetic closure, okay? Yeah. Well thought out. Again, the padding feels great. We got interior courtesy lights, which I like a whole lot. You never have enough trash cans on a boat. Well, we have two up here at the bow. Access to the cabin is on the port side of the console. Come on in, let me show you around. Coming into the cabin, there's a grab rail alongside for convenience, and underneath the steps, there's storage. The upper step is dedicated space for a trash bin. Now, coming all the way forward, this is kind of the, the seti, the dinette. There's a table that's actually in a drawer here that can come out and be set up right here, but also filler cushions that can make this into a large berth. Now, the berth would be about 60 inches wide and 78 inches fore and aft. There are portholes, both port and starboard, with blinds. You have some hanging hooks or maybe hanging some things to dry or maybe a hat and overhead recessed LED lighting in this padded upholstery ceiling, which goes throughout. Now the ceiling height in here is 78 inches at its highest point. There's a large TV in here. I'm getting the air conditioning and really just take a break from things. Behind my backrest, there's storage and access to some electrical components. And across the way, access to your AC panels, some generator controls and things like that. Now, under both of these sides, there is a decent amount of storage underneath. And then this is where things get interesting. Now this is the fish. These are vertical storage for rods. That's a, that's a pretty good idea. You know, maybe this is a dedicated fishing trip and you don't really need this cabin space, but you need space for more rods to catch bigger fish. You can put them right here in the cabin. I also have a USB port here, as well as a 110 outlet. At the galley, the countertop is about three feet wide. Overhead, we have a microwave, a bit more storage, and this is actually a shelf with some decent fiddles up here where you can have a few small items. We have just a really beautiful backsplash. I like how the textures and the shadows from these recessed lights just kind of give me that you know, watery feel. Really like that. And coupled with the upholstery that we see on the walls around here, everything is just very well appointed and very, you know, just screams luxury like formula is known for. There's two cup holders on this little elevated countertop, a small railing here to keep your smaller items, keep them safely on the countertop. You have the sink with a removable lid and the lid for the sink has a dedicated spot. I like seeing that. Just above that, you have a bit of a larger drawer. And then you may think, oh, well, there's not really room for a drawer traditionally under the sink. But however, they have put a low profile drawer in here and there's dividers in here for cutlery as well. And then just below that is your isotherm fridge. All these drawers are hardwood construction. These are all on soft closed slides and they have dovetails in the drawers. Now, I come from a carpentry background, and that is an impressive thing to see on a boat. Moving aft into the head, I'm surprised to see a walk-in shower. This isn't a wet head. Now, typically on a boat like this, it would be a wet head. They took a lot of space and devoted it to this head. There's also a little recess back here 
with some built-in storage to keep things organized, soaps and things like that. And then along this corner here, there are these hooks that they were calling swimsuit hooks. It'd be fantastic for swimsuits, or maybe if you're out on a hardcore fishing trip, that's where you can hang up your foul weather gear. You do have two ventilation ports, both port and starboard, which is always a good thing to have in a bathroom. Now overhead, there is storage cabinets, a vessel sink, and you have that same beautiful, elegant backsplash that is displayed on the back of this countertop. And this vanity has a decent amount of storage. You have two drawers, and then underneath is a cabinet with a dedicated spot for a trash bin. And then on the opposite side, you have another pull-out bin, which would be a great spot maybe for some rolled up towels and things like that. Without any doubt, this is the most highly engineered, most luxurious center console fishing machine we've ever tested. And to give owners peace of mind, Standard is a stem to stern transferable five-year North American Formula Guard limited protection plan with a worldwide 10-year structural warranty. That concludes our in-depth look of the features aboard Formula's beautiful 457 CCF. I'm Captain Trip with Boat Test. I'm Captain Eric Brandon, and remember, life is always better on a boat.